Hey, what is going on, guys? I'm Rush XD here, and welcome to another plugin showcase. Which today's plugin showcase is on Heavy Spleef. Now, I gotta say, this is the best Spleef plugin that you're gonna find out there. That's completely free and really customizable. Cause I actually like it. You can go full out with this plugin, and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up an arena and everything in config. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? First thing you're gonna do is gonna do slash slash wand. That's gonna get your world edit. So you need world edit for this to work. And next thing you're gonna do is slash Spleef create. And then when you name it, so this is going to be your arena name. So I want to name it Ted. There we go. Ted has been created. And what we're going to do now is going to set the floors for each level. So right here, I have three levels. You can make it how many you want. I'm just doing this for an example. So I have three levels. And at the bottom right here, you can see it is water. Well, you can barely see it because of the shaders. But it is water. Trust me. Now you can make it water, air, lava, the void, anything you really want. And that is going to add the death zone so you got to make sure you have one of those it doesn't have to be water it doesn't have to be lava you can set it i'm going to show you guys how to even do it so let's get started first thing you're going to do is get your world edit wand and you're going to select your first layer all right and then you're going to do slash spleef add floor your arena name and then your floor number this can be one or you want to or you can just give it a simple name either one works so i added the first floor i'm going to go add another one which is going to be down below here i'm going to add a second one you don't have to name it one or two. This is just an example, right? So I'm gonna name this two. I'm gonna break this one, and I'm gonna add last floor, which is number floor, floor three. There we go. I added three floors, and something else we can add is the death zone. So this is basically what I was talking about. You don't have to make it water, but if you do have water or lava, they will instantly die, and you don't have to do any command. But I'm gonna show you guys how to add it, even if you want to. I'm gonna select an area. So I'm gonna select that area right here. I'm gonna break this because I don't want it there, and I'm gonna put that, and I'm gonna go to the other side, break here. Add a block for world edit, select it, and then I'm gonna do the following command slash spleef add death zone. And then you wanna name this area and you wanna put your arena name, so mine is Ted, and then you wanna name it. I'm just gonna name it uh four. There we go. Brilliant. There we go. I added floor four, basically the death zone. Now I can just go back up here and close everything up. Alright, so here's where the fun parts come in. If you do slash spleef flag and then your arena name, now if you click enter. It will show you all these flags you can currently do. This is basically anything you can add to your arena. So I can add anti-camping. I'm going to do that because, of course, I don't want people to camp on the game. Anti-camping, like so. And that will basically enable anti-camping. So after, like, five seconds of them paused, they will get limited disqualified so that's awesome we can have auto starts auto start 15 seconds i'm gonna put 15 seconds there we go and then this i can actually select i want both spleef i want splag i want spleef i can add as much as i want this is amazing i can even add scoreboard which i'm of course i'm gonna add this is amazing i really like it i recommend you guys go check it out i'm gonna add scoreboard and boom right there we have scoreboard and i'm gonna add spleef with shovels let's shovel there we go shovels and you're also gonna have to flag to make sure you add a or a lobby so i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna add my lobby you know i'm gonna add it right in here because it really doesn't matter so i'm gonna add a lobby there we go we added the lobby and we can even add a lose area so if you want to make like i don't know a cage so everybody can laugh at the losers which is completely rude i don't recommend you do it do it but yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to do it so you can just put lose there we go so now any losers will come to here the winners just spawn back in the green. You can add the minimum players. So I'm going to come here. Ted, min, players. And then I'm going to add the mount, which is min 2. And then I can add the max. I'm going to add 4. Just replacing min with max. Here's something really cool that I recommend you guys adding at the end is fireworks. This is this like shows the winner. And it's really nice. And you can even select the area. So I'm going to select the firework right in here. So I'm going to do fireworks, bracket, add. There we go. We added fireworks right there. So fireworks will appear whenever there's a winner. And one last thing I highly recommend you guys adding is count down titles. Because it just makes it a little bit better. And you can even add one last thing. I'm sorry, this is I promise this is the last thing is a leave item. Because I don't want people to get stuck in there if there's one player missing and the game can't start, so they always have a leave button. So there we go. Now they can leave. Now we can even add some signs. I'm just gonna go show you guys the basics. If you want more complex, of course it's on the page, but this is the basics you're gonna need. You can do slash bracket, spleef, close bracket. And then you want to put join and then your arena name, which mine is Ted. I don't know yours. And I'm going to click done. And there we go. There's even a spectator. So if you added a spectator flag, you can do slash spleef, spec, and then your arena name. But mine's not going to work because I didn't add a spectators. But yeah, there we go. See, it won't work. Spectating not enabled for this arena. And one extra cool thing that I really like, if you do, if you just put a sign down, click done, and do slash spleef, add wall. And then your arena's name, which is Ted, it will tell you to click on a row of signs. So this one right here, boom, 
there we go now that right there all of that is for players it'll tell you how many players are on etc etc and it's great i really like that feature all right so i have wesley plays he has a channel you can check it out down below and he's gonna help me out with this quick game so i'm gonna show you guys how the game works real quick and thanks a lot wesley you're the man and i'm gonna do i'm just gonna tell him click it and then he'll click the sign and we're gonna join and show you guys how the game works now as you can see here i have some items in my inventory that won't work that won't mess anything up because it will remove it and it'll give you back as soon as the game is done now you can also do slash spleef start and then your arena name which mine is ted there we go it will automatically start 10 9 and this is this is all the features right here i added the leave button i added this right here in the screen it's it's everything here so i'm just gonna get my shovel on the left and there we go we can just break blocks and see who wins this ain't gonna go well i can see already <laughs> come on mate come on no uh yeah i'm kind of rubbish so do it i'm sorry okay <laughs> i'm just really rubbish at this game and as you can see right there on the right side, there's a scoreboard. So that worked perfectly as well. So as you can see, everything I added so far, I can even add snowballs, but I decided not to even add that. And as, as you see, I stopped there for like one second and it already telling me I would be teleported if found camping. So good thing I didn't stop. So, I mean, everything's working great. I highly recommend you guys check the plugin out. Oh, and as you can see right there, I lost. I went to the losers. Oh, well, GG. Thanks, mate. And as you can see right there, the plugin works great. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd be happy. You'll see what I'll do to you later. So yeah, thanks Wesley. Now let's head to the config and I'll show you guys everything there. Alright, so now we're in the config and I'm gonna just click Heavy Spleef. This is the plugin config file and here add-ons. You can add add-ons to add various types of more games to it and add more features. Layout is pretty simple. This is all the sign layouts. You can edit so whenever it you put a sign it will change it probably because here right here it will say the this will be the first sign this will be the name and it will change everything you can actually do that by yourself if you don't like the current config of the signs and you can change that to every one of these right here signs all these are signs so you can change all the layouts what I think is pretty cool we even have local this is basically the language pack I'm just gonna leave that as B and then coming into this folder we're gonna go in games and right here we have all the schematics this is all the games we currently have we right, right here we have Ted and if we go in Ted it will tell us all our floors on the folder XML, you don't want to mess with that. Just go back. Trust me. Just leave it as it be unless you're a developer. Trust me. Don't mess with it. Here in the config, it's quite simple. We're just going to... I'm not going to really mess with it much. So here we have the general prefix. So right here is a prefix that will go beside your name whenever you're in game. So we'll say spleef. And right here we have VIP join true. We can add VIPs. That's really cool. I like it. And this is the time till PVP. I can add on 300 seconds until people can PVP because it does get annoying if the player just stays in a block and you can't really do it. And you have some snowballs. That would be actually quite cool. The warm up mode, it gives you a warm up. So you can even put that to true. Basically, allowing players to have a little warm up before the game actually starts. Adventure mode, I would recommend you keeping that on true so players can't break blocks while they're waiting for it in the lobby. And yeah, so basically, here you can mess with everything. We even have weather, disable PvP, disable damage. You have all these cool options. And broadcast radius 30. Um, I think that's a zero because I don't really want it to broadcast that people are joining. Anti camping, this is how much the, the wait time. I'm gonna change that to 15 because come on, three seconds, that, that, that's not a lot. You can change the leave item and the ready items. So the iron block, you can actually right click it. I'm sorry, I forgot about that, but you can right click an iron block to vote. So yeah, now you have the Spleek egg cooldown. I don't want to keep a cooldown because if you're playing Spleg, or how do you say it? You don't want a cooldown because that game is really fast paced and you want to break as much as you can. If you have a cooldown, maybe the other person will win. I'm just saying. And right here we have just the data database. And of course, I'm using Notepad++. If you guys want to use it, go ahead. And the beta database is quite simple. I wouldn't mess with it as much. And that is the whole config right there. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to smack that like button down below. If you guys want to see any other videos, make do via comments down below or via Twitter. I check out both, all right? And I always check out your comments. So make sure to comment down below. Tell me how your day was because mine was great because you're watching my videos. So yeah, thanks. Love you. So yeah, I'm Rush XD, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.